Hey guys, this is Techo Freak here, and welcome to my test world. Um, this is not my uh, usual environment. As you can see, I have some um, crazy shenanigans that has been going on over here on this side. Um, this is my testing world where I do a lot of testing for different things and different uh, things I want to get to um, implement, but I want to make sure they work. So this is mainly where I do it. And in this world today, we'll be some doing something different today uh, by request of... Um, uh, uh, YouTube, a YouTuber, um, uh, they wanted me to do a speed test on, um, all the furnaces in, um, FTB Ultimate Pack, and so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have these guys set up over here, um, I'm also going to do something more than just a speed test, I'm also going to do kind of like an instructional kind of thing, um, uh, cause, uh, first I'm going to do the speed test, and then I'm going to do an instructional kind of thing and show you guys how to set it up properly just in case you guys never tried it before so um, just want to make sure you guys um, uh, don't blow up your machines or whatever alright so let's go ahead and get started with um, some speed tests first let's start out by um, explaining these machines and what I got going here and then we're going to build it so you guys can see how it's built so first here we have a normal furnace and next to that we have an iron furnace um, iron furnace comes from um, comes from uh, industrial craft, and it is uh, one of the lowest tier furnaces besides the vanilla Minecraft one um, for industrial craft. So um, I'm going to go ahead and toss on one coal in these in these guys, and I'm going to uh, open up the GUI and put in uh, something to smell, and then I'm going to just watch it without commentary and then I'm gonna do the other one without commentary as well and so because I want to do it like an as kind of like a split screen kind of thing maybe even do all of them at the on the screen at the same time um, so uh, that's what I'm hoping to do if not then I'll just show you guys the um, the um, the smelting speed individually so let's get started with the vanilla minecraft um, furnace Oops, wrong. Alright, so there's uh, the manila, vanilla Minecraft one. Uh, let's do the iron furnace now. Ready, go. And that was the Iron Furnace, lowest tier from um, Industrial Craft. Alright, so now we're moving on to the next guys. Um, so these are build craft machines and Buildcraft uses engines and energy cells to store their power so um, here we have a redstone energy cell which is a little expensive to make because it's one of the higher tier ways to store power in Buildcraft but other than that you can make you can make power using these guys here called engines um, uh, with engines you can th all types of engines can be powered different ways to create energy for example a sterling engine with some coal some coal and a redstone signal applied it will start producing power but this is um, the second lowest tier um, the lowest in this one is uh, redstone engines um, and yeah this one just uses uh, coal to burn magomatic engines are a different story magomatic engines use lava and if I right click um, with this with one lava can it will go ahead and start producing power and if we look here, we can see that the amount of power in the um, redstone energy cell is filling up. So that's how we create the power, and this cell just lets us store it. But we can easily just throw on one of these engines right onto the machine itself, and we don't even have to worry about um, storing the power. But it is um, recommended that you do store the power. Next, I have some red conduit um, cables here, and um, the orange means it's outputting, and blue means it's receiving. And um, these are one of the most expensive cables you can um, obtain, and they're the best ones to use. Um, there are other ones called conductive 
um, pipes and uh, these work exactly the same way but not as good as the conduit wires right here these call these are called redstone conduit wires um, and uh, and so these are connected here and these are receiving the power so here we have a power furnace and we have an induction smelter also because um, we want to go ahead and see what these guys can do um, so um, let's get started um, by doing the induction smelter first. The power furnace is just a normal furnace but it's Buildcraft's furnace and induction smelter is um, uh, a special kind you would typically use these for ores to double up your ores so if you toss this guy in here so one um, iron ore and I think it's two sand it will make two iron ignots instead of one so let's go ahead and perform this test and see what's the speed All right, so as you can see, we got two, and they only used one sand per um, ore, so that's even better. I thought it was the other way around. So that's the speed of that one. So now let's try the powered furnace. Huh. What happened to the... <laughs> I have no idea what happened to the Ignat. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea where that egg now went. Well, that was a random glitch, but uh, that's the speed of it. Let's put it in one more time just to see what happened. Oh, I know what happened to it. It moved it over to the induction smelter. That's right. Okay, yeah, there's configurations on these guys that you can have to uh, move things, and it looks like this configuration was set to output on the right to this guy over here. So, um, yeah, you might want to change that. and that was the speed of the power furnace a big difference from these two and it's about as equal to the induction smelter which doubles it for you so uh... that's pretty cool and uh... let's go ahead and toss the guys up here and clean out this area here All right. uh... so th that's it for those th for the build craft ones these are the main type of um... furnaces that you can use for build craft but the more heavy duty ones or the ones that let you smell faster come from industrial craft so as you can you already saw the first tier um, of um, furnaces for theirs well you use that same one to craft these guys over here and um, uh, I almost forgot to include that the middle one is actually a um, Greg Tech furnace and Greg Tech is an add-on to industrial craft industrial um, industrial craft is its own mod but um, Greg Tech uh, uses its idea to make some um, more machines so you can see that there is some difference so this go this goes in order by the best one and um, the first one is the electric furnace which is just a single one and it requires power same thing as this one it doesn't require no coal just power um, um, the automatic e furnace has two slots so you can sell two items at once and it has about just the same speed as this one except it can do double the duty so that's pretty good and um, and lastly is the induction small the induction furnace which is the fastest one I know of that's in the game and this one is just I, I when I when I realized that these I just couldn't believe the speed so you guys will see that very soon so um I think the best way to go about doing this um, is to start from the first one over here um, but before that let's um, show you guys what we got going here so here we have a um, MFSU which is uh, basically a storage unit that lets you store power and this thing is receiving power from this ultimate hybrid solar panel which is also storing up its own power and um, it's outputting power through this um, through its output hole because there's only one output hole around it and that's that one right there and next um, the three this is an MV transformer so this is an MV transformer this is the MFSU there's also lower tier storage units so there's the MFE and the bat box this is high voltage this is medium voltage and this is um, a, um, a the, the low, low voltage there's also transformers that let you transform that voltage from high voltage to medium voltage to low voltage and and um, to break these machines you will um, 
to move them from one place to another you, it's recommended that you use these guys which is a um, which is a wrench these are the two types of um, wrenches for um, industrial craft there's an electric wrench and then there's a normal wrench of course the better one being the electric wrench next there is a prototype omni wrench which could be used for both industrial craft and build craft so it's very useful and then there's these other two which i forgot to explain that go for build craft these two work the same way and if you shift and right click you can drop the machine using these wrenches and so that's about it for um for that so um on this side this is medium voltage and it's just going directly to um this induction furnace induction furnace which is the fastest one and it does require medium voltage so if you do set up industrial craft power it will take up a lot of it so you have to make sure that you have a good steady source of power and um, uh, over here we have this same kind of setup and it goes connected directly to an LV transformer because these two machines over here since they're not as heavy duty they um, are low voltage and uh, same way is the main the output power goes through the single hole the triple hole receives the power and then the single hole outputs the power and then the triple hole receives it and then on the top is a hole here which outputs it to these two machines over here so fairly simple uh, you might have to get your hands a little dirty with these so you can get to know exactly how things work so it's recommended you like you know work in a creative world before uh, you know causing explosions and stuff like that in your creative one in your normal one so let's go ahead and test these guys now because I've been talking for too much so uh, again this doesn't require any coal just go ahead and just toss in an iron uh, ore on top and we'll see the speed and here's our iron igna. Um, so if we try and compare it, um, it's similar to the iron furnace but a little faster but the benefits to this one is that it uses no coal whatsoever to smelt the um, thing and it just uses plain power which is being received by the solar panel which runs on the power of the sun which is awesome and um, uh, there's other ways to power that. There's uh, generators that you can use to power that. That you can use the same way as as these with lava, coal, or other things. But the best way to go about doing it is with um, solar panels, in my opinion. But if you do have the ultimate pack, it may get a little bit um, difficult to make these guys. So keep an eye out for that. So moving on to the next one is the automatic E furnace. Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss in two iron ores into this guy at the same time and we're gonna see the speed that it will go at so let's begin the test now alright so that was uh, the speed of that um, furnace and we can see that um, its speed is um, about the same as this one except it gives you two slots to actually smelt it but it won't do two at the same time um, unlike the induction furnace so uh, long story short this one can do um, oops this one can do um, this one can do two slots filled and it will only do one slot at a time so and that's how that one goes All right. So now to the final one, which is personally my favorite one that I like to use. This one's the most expensive to build out of most of these here, and it's also the most power-consuming. So you might want to look into that. So let's go ahead and start the test. Unlike this one, uh, this electric furnace, this one will actually take um, two two um, ores at the same time and smelt them. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and. Um, quickly explain what this lever is doing here so after it receives the power it won't do anything with it unless you flick a or you activate a redstone signal near it so I used a lever to activate a redstone signal and then it will start building up heat after the heat gets to 100 which takes about 10 minutes um, you are ready to smell at max speed and it actually smells faster if you have two items in the furnace at the same time so if you like have a, a stack like this and you take both halves like this um, then um, 
and then you can um, go ahead and just uh, put them both like that. So that's what I recommend. Or if you have two separate ores you want to smelt, you can go ahead and just dump it in. So to test this, I want to do two and just put one in each one. So let's go ahead. Don't blink an eye because you will miss it. Done. And that was incredibly fast. And um, it and if you throw in more it would just start going even faster so as soon as it builds up to 100 and you have a constant source of power that doesn't die you will be making um you will be making uh, smelting like a like a pro so that's about all the things and as you can see this one is the fastest and if you want to use one that's fastest in your world this would be the way to do it and um, using an induction smelter is the best so let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this setup somewhere else um, I guess I'll just uh, do it right here since it's no big deal alright so I have everything I just about everything I need um, let's go ahead and just block this up with sand alright so let's start by um, uh, making these two guys actually I'll skip on these two guys because um, they're pretty simple it's just um, they require no setup but these guys do require some setup so let's go ahead and um, do that so let's start by getting these furnaces which are the um, induction smelter these are the build craft ones induction smelter and the powered furnace alright so I'm gonna go ahead and split these guys up and not put them next to each other um, like so um, now I'm gonna get a redstone energy cell uh, that you can also make and I'll go right there now we're going to need some red conduit wiring so that's going to be some red energy conduits but you can also use the golden conductive pipes for, and do the same thing but I'm going to use these guys alright so if you right click it there's no power going in well that's because this thing is not set to output power so let's go ahead and get the prototype omni wrench you can also use these guys too uh, but I, I like the prototype omni wrench and let's go ahead and switch this guy up now if we come here, some light went on and some power is flowing in. Awesome. So if we right click on this guy over here and we add this guy up to 100, um, this will output at 100 and we can disable any redstone signals as well. And this will, these guys will start receiving power and you can start using them right away. And um, by the use of some engines, you can also start filling up this guy here or you can just attach the engines directly onto the actual the actual machine and that, uh, that is also no problem so let's move on now to the um, to the uh, industrial craft furnaces so it's going to be the electric furnace and just because the the uh, Greg tech furnace the automatic e furnace um, uses a low voltage power I will I will also do that one next to it so um, right next to it we're gonna do it here and here and um, they're going to be right next to each other. Did I do the same types? Uh, yep. And there. Okay. So those are the uh, furnaces. And um, we want to go ahead and hook them up to power. So the way we're going to go about doing this is setting up an MFSU. You can use um, either an MFSU, an MFE, or a bat box to power these guys. It doesn't matter too much. Um, I'm just going to do an MFSU. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll even do more. I'm, I'll go through the work of doing an MFE. And uh, just to be safe, I'll do the bat box over here. All right, so um, now that we have that, we're gonna need to uh, give it some power. So I'm going to attach a um, uh, high voltage solar panel here and for this one just because this is high voltage it might blow up the MFE and we don't want that we're gonna get a lower voltage solar panel so let's go ahead and get I, the hybrid solar panel and attach it on right next to it I don't want to get them to to stick together or else you know that's bad so as you can see the power is flowing through them it's becoming night so I should probably put it to dawn and um, and these guys also run on moon power so that's that that also works but it outputs more when it's the sun so um that's good and as you can see power is flowing there and power is flowing there so we have we're good for power here um now we got to um 
give these guys some low voltage power and these two here are both um, not going to cut it because um, this is high voltage and this is medium voltage while these use low voltage so to change these guys we're going to use a low voltage transformer and that's going to go right here um, yeah right here and you can use different types of cables so if you search cables so there's cables down here and these are the types of cables you can use but I say the easiest one and er, uh, to get early in game would be these um, these HV cables so HV cable is just a high voltage cable that's used by making refined iron which is really easy to make then attach some rubber on there and you get insulated another one gets you two and another one gets you four so this is the easiest but the best one to use would be fiber cable could you get less power loss from distance so um, I have those right here I'm gonna go ahead and directly hook up this MV, um, MFE which runs on medium voltage to this guy then um, through any of these output holes we're going to hook these guys up here and if we right click on them well this one because this one indicates power we have a red uh, light which means we have power successful um, so if um, we were to um, switch this system up um, we will need an M MV transformer to um, get power to go to this one so let's go ahead and um, break uh, these guys here so now if we want power to run from here to here if you connect it directly once again it will blow up and we don't want that so what we're going to do is put one cable and then we're going to have an MV transformer because this has to go from high voltage to medium voltage to low voltage so we're going to hook this up right here and it um, uh, looks like we're going to have to uh, reorganize this a little so we can get it to look how we want so the three holes are going to go towards the output and whatever um, so there and now we have the power successfully converted from high voltage to medium voltage to low voltage now I'm gonna do an overhead cable cabling to connect these guys over here we right click we once again have power so that is great um, so let's go ahead and break these guys up and um, and uh, we're just going to um, uh, use this guy over here so this is a bat box and a bat box is low voltage so it can't take any of those high voltage type of solar panels so uh, it will has to take low voltage power like through coal generators but we're going to use a solar panel and just attach it right into the top it produces very little power compared to those guys over there but there's no need for conversion for this guy and you can just run the cables directly and we have power once again so uh, that's how it goes and um, now it's just uh, so you guys can see the explosion that happens if you try and connect this guy to that guy stand back take cover and no explosion well let's see what is this one? Oh well it's not in use so it can't explode so there's already power in here but as soon as it starts requiring some power you're in for an explosion so let's do that and boom explosion uh, so yeah, you have to be very capable, ca careful with that. So um, let's go ahead and break these guys up and uh, rebuild the floor a little bit. And let's do the setup for that last induction furnace. So the induction furnace uh, uses a um, uh, induction furnace uses a, um, a medium me uses medium voltage and that can be this guy over here or from this guy to a medium voltage transformer so let's go ahead and just directly hook up the medium voltage um, MFE directly to it and boom we already have our power but remember what I said about it needing a redstone signal its heat starts at zero so we need to apply a redstone signal and then you can see the light turns on and if we just look at this for a little bit we'll see that the heat goes up by one and it takes about 10 minutes to reach full but when it's full it will go really fast so now um, uh, from high voltage to this it will explode so um, the same deal as the last um, it's just a matter of getting the MV transformer and um, hooking it up to the to the M to the MFSU and then so this is already the medium voltage there's no need to connect uh, this to uh, low voltage you can just connect directly 
and again the heat will continue to build up if there is power and as you can see there is power so there is heat building up and um i guess that's about it guys um uh, that's about it to set up these guys over here if you want if you actually want to see like 100% um, uh, you know introduction to this kind of stuff and see all the types of things you can use for it this is a very very general because I don't I just want to show you guys the speed mainly and just quickly how you can set up these guys and why it's beneficial or non beneficial so um, that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching any other suggestions um, please uh, leave a um, a a comment suggesting your idea I am open to suggestions because this was a suggestions just the day ago so you know keep in, keep that in mind and thanks for watching guys see you